Okay guys, very good morning to everyone. Uh, today we are here at Kemptwell and actually doing some community service and I wanted to show you how the construction sites are here in Canada. So that's why I'm making this vlog and here's our team from our office who is here. Actually this was for women's build especially but obviously why not. It's a volunteering work so we also volunteered and a few things that are very important over here when you are on site that is your hard hat and then your steel toe shoes i don't know if you are able to see it but these are two things that are very important you have to sign safety waivers and all those things because yeah definitely they do care about human life a lot over here so you have to be very careful and in fact even in india like if you are going on a very big sites or very uh, regularized site you will find these things so let's see how the construction thing is going on over here and uh, i'll try to keep you updated as much as possible Okay guys, here you can see that we are just entering the apartment or the first unit that uh, we are supposed to overlook and uh, we are getting a basic brief of what to do and what we don't have to do and what kind of work we will be doing today. Here you can see all the studs and the framing. So these are basically the walls. You can see the staircase and all those things. Basically, the entire house is made from wood. So right now we are going upstairs and um, actually my first work started on the top floor of this apartment. So where we'll be fixing a few dry walls and all those things. And I'll just go ahead and show you how the entire site looks from here. And then I will give you an overview of how ICF construction works. So again guys, here you can see that uh, all these studs are in the place and the only thing that is remaining is to place the insulation and on the gypsum board and everything on that, on the top of it. So guys, today we are here in this apartment and this entire wall is made up of ICF. So what ICF is, like you will have two layers of uh, styrofoam and in between the gap you will be filling the concrete and there will be reinforcement vertical and horizontal both to support that and that's how this wall is made and before that what they do is they just take these strips and they push it inside the ICF and then they hook it on the rebar that are running inside the walls and then they pour the concrete so this actually these strips basically gives extra layer of reinforcement so that the walls are somehow connected with each other and they are not totally separated. So this is how it is done over here and here you can see like these are fire rated um, gypsum panels or you can call it like just plaster panel. So they just put it over here, they screw it in and you can see these pink tapes as well. So these pink tapes are also fire rated tapes. So you need to put all the tapes between the gaps of two uh, gypsum boards and that's how it is done. And basically that's, this will be the washroom area where they will be putting the bathtubs. And here you can see these holes. These holes are for electrical layout. So electric uh, wiring will come here and this entire portion will be filled with uh, what you call it, insulation panels, bat insulation or rock wool insulation, whatever you want to put in these walls. And there will be another layer of gypsum board on top of both of these. And then you can put your uh, flooring or vitrified tile, whatever you want on top of that. So that's how this entire thing is done. And you can see there is a plastic over here. So that is for waterproofing the slab. So that's how this entire portion looks like there will be one more layer over it to waterproof the washroom entirely and you can see again this is also fire rated so in washrooms you need to have this fire rated uh, gypsum boards everywhere so this is the overall thing and we will go over that side as well i'll just show you how they connect the framings of windows 
so here you can have you can see another foam foam layer is there so just to have some kind of weather barrier between these two portion and to connect them very seamlessly and again here the windows always you will see there is double glazed windows so this is something that i don't like that much but so these are double glazed windows so there is one glass layer then there is a vacuum or there is a gas filled in between these two and then there is another layer so what it does it insulates or further insulates the house so it makes the house more uh, weather proof more resilient and more efficient so this is how the construction goes here in canada and i will keep showing you more such construction things and such small details over here so that you also learn how the construction is done over here so okay guys here i had to go back and get back to the work and i wanted to show you also like okay i can work on site it's not like you know i was just recording there and just doing time pass so yeah this is me just doing some basic labor work over here you can see the icf wall this is the top portion of the icf wall and you can see the spacers that are there in between you can see that there is a bar that uh, rebar running between them so the spacers already have two slots in which like one bar goes like this and another bar goes like this and then a vertical bar also can be placed over there and then the concrete is poured from the top of it so guys i will show you how they support this wall so here you can see like they have put the support like it's basically similar to how we build our walls but it's just that they are pouring concrete in between the styrofoam so this is how it goes so they are just bracing the entire styrofoam and they are sealing it so these are the sealants you can see so like a silicon gun they just seal it and then they pour concrete from the top and then it fills and then they remove these bracings so if they don't have these bracing what will happen is your styrofoam will break and just fall apart so this is how they bolt it to the ground so that it doesn't slides out and here you can see again they have done the bracing so that it stays in place and it doesn't falls apart and again here all the styrofoam that they are using obviously this styrofoam is not the best environmentally friendly material but these are styro uh, like treated styrofoam so the people who are asking me about like uh, what about the fire hazards and all those things so these are st uh, treated styrofoam so they don't burn that easily as you will see a normal uh, styrofoam burning so guys uh, this is the next part of our video these parts are called foamer cells and these are laid down on your concrete slab so basically what they are are like you can see like they are bit offset from each other so what they do is they place it on the floor and they do the interlocking so it goes one above the other and it fixes so a flat layer will be formed and on the base you have the insulation so it also insulates your flooring so that's how the entire flooring is done and on top of this you can put your carpet or your tiles if you want so guys these are the core cutting machines so this is the bottom portion and they cut like this so these are for the plumbing pipings that will go and this is how the machine looks it needs a water supply as well to keep the blades cool and that's how it goes sorry mom i got to do some tiny with the saw which should be pretty loud okay um right like 4 5 minutes so maybe we're on that but wait let's see if we really don't need and this was the support i was talking about so they have these openings for the ducting and the wiring that you can see over here and 
yeah this will be the deck for the people to move so guys i'm back finally home it was a very very tiring day but it was fun as well and uh, sorry i wasn't able to shoot a lot of videos over there because first of all half of the places were too loud to shoot or record anything uh, second of all we were working a lot and i didn't wanted to be that guy who just goes around and shoots all the things and like you know just be a vlogger so i was helping my team and my colleagues over there so yeah i wasn't able to shoot that much but let's talk about icf foundations and icf construction overall so uh, when it comes to environment all of you might ask me like you know it is styrofoam uh, it won't be that good for nature and all those things so yes i do agree it's not at all good for nature it doesn't decompose that easily or like it's like plastic basically so yeah it's not at all good for nature but what it is good for is durability so because we are using concrete and uh, two panels of icf so your house becomes like a sealed uh, compartment and which is very important over here because you will be saving a lot on your heating heating and like gas bills so basically here we use gas to heat up the furnace and that heats up all the entire house the air that is going inside the house so that is a very beneficial part of icf construction plus second thing your walls are very strong because of the use of concrete it is quicker you can make an icf house like very quickly because you need to pour concrete do the uh, walls make a sandwich and it's done so as you can see on your screen like this is how icf is placed so there is a spacer in between these two panels and then the concrete is poured and i have shown you on the site also like how it is done overall benefits of icf is um, it is easier to construct uh, secondly it doesn't uh, require a lot of heating or electricity to heat your house up because the ceiling is very tight and very efficient in icf type of construction these are the overviews of uh, these type of construction and guys you can also uh, give me your suggestions or your reviews or what do you think i should show on this channel or what would you like to learn about canadian construction over here and guys if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you soon i'm very tired so i'll go and take some rest for now and uh, yeah see you soon take care bye bye